Now, dear, you be nice to the young man Katie is bringing home. We don't want another scene like last time. <laughs> I'm, I'm always nice. We have to look out for our little girl. Ned, your, your little girl is a junior in college. We have to trust her. Martha, she's still young and naive. What if she brings home a, a Democrat or something? Or, or even worse, one of those crazy little Second Life scripter geeks? <laughs> now, Ned, you hush! Oh my Mom, Dad, Jimmy will be here any minute, so please don't embarrass me. You, you, you hear that, Martha? She's, she's embarrassed by us. That's what we get for raising her, feeding her, and paying for her college. She's embarrassed. Now, Ned, Ned now hush. I'm sure he's a sweet boy. This is Jimmy. Uh, Ooh, um, uh, Katie, uh, dear, he, he's, he's, he's a, he's a rat. Uh, well, first off, I'm not a rat, I'm a hedgehog. And second, I'm right here, I can hear you. Oh, um, Daddy! Um, uh, uh hello, Jimmy! Um, nice to meet you. Um, w won't you sit down? Have a seat. Have a seat. Certainly. Have a seat. Thank you, Mrs. Stevens. Hmm. <clears throat> Jimmy, uh, w what do you do? Uh, I, I, I guess you like doing hedgehog things, you know, like, like digging burrows and... Ugh. Um, and uh, eat, eating grubs. Well, what? Mom, Dad's being a jerk. Well, actually, Mr. Stevens, I'm going to the university majoring in IT systems development with a minor in finance. This summer, I'm doing an internship with a major software company. Oh, um, you know, we have a platypus that works at our office. Uh. Ted Benson, Todd Benson, that's it, Todd Benson. Maybe you know him, Jimmy. Uh, no, I'm afraid I don't know a platypus named Todd Benson. Platypuses are oh. aquatic animals. I don't spend much time in the wetlands, especially carrying a full class load as I am. Oh, Mom, um, Dad, you're embarrassing him. No, it's okay, Katie. I get this sometimes. No. It's not okay. They always do this to me. They are so uncool. Oh, oh, so, uh, so we're uncool. We, we weren't so uncool when we had to get your car out of the impound for those parking tickets you didn't tell us about. Now, now, let's just discuss this calmly. Oh, no way, Mom. You always take his side, even when he's being a jerk. Uh, oh. Look, maybe we should do this another night. Now look, he wants to leave and it's all your fault. Oh, oh it's, it, it's always all our fault. Um, um. That's right, it's all your fault. But I'm not going to let you mess this up for me because I love Jimmy. I love him and I want to marry him. Oh, uh, <gasps> hey, uh, oh. I don't know that we ever talked about that. You know, marriage is a, is a big step. Yeah, there is, there is no way you're going to marry a rodent into this family. Well, uh, yeah, hedgehogs aren't actually rodents. We're from the order Araneciomorpha. Yes, I'm marrying him, and we're going to be happy together forever and ever, and we're going to have lots of cute little hedgehog babies. Uh, now, Katie, dear, I'm not sure a woman can have hedgehog babies. 
But with the spines and all? Oh. Okay, whoa. Uh, look, oh, we're what? just going out for a movie. There really wasn't any baby talk. I think I should be on my way. It was nice meeting you all. I'll see you in school, Katie. Oh, oh, oh. See what you did? You made him leave. Now I'm going to be alone forever. Did, did you see that, Martha? Did you see how she speaks to her father? Doesn't she understand we have to do what's best for her? Well, well Ned, he seems like a nice young man. A uh, hedgehog to me. We can't have it, Martha. If we let her start dating hedgehogs, what's next? Unitarians? Oh, Ned. Oh.